Good morning. It is a blustery day in the 100 acre wood. Jamesy and I are headed to the pediatric dentist to get his little chipped tooth in front. It's like super subtle, but I'm sure you guys have seen it. We're just gonna finally get it checked out now that he's a big kid. Ugh. That's rain. Whoa. I got coconut on. We're waiting for the doctor. I found your tooth. Your toothpaste. Jamesy did so good. At the dentist. We're home now. Here is his haul of things he got to bring home. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. This ball. This cute little book. I guess our dentist's friend wrote it and this mean mug I'll look at that picture it was a really sweet office we really enjoyed our first visit oh Peter's working the day away that's his work face <laughs> um, James he's walking away so hold on a second so we have a couple of options for his little chip tooth they actually don't even think it was chipped. They just think that that's how his teeth are because uh, other teeth are kind of showing like signs of weak enamel. And I think that's just like a genetic thing on my side. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back in three months instead of six just to monitor it. If we choose to have it filled, that's totally up to us. Um, but it is so good. And we're just gonna start changing up his like being more intentional with his dental care, as well as like starting to figure out like not having a bottle to go to bed and just having better habits for him. So it was a good, it was good and it was close. We'll definitely go back there. I really liked the office. All right, we got dinner going on. Peter's done with work. I have the soy chorizo going with some onions. I hear my baby coming. He tried the avocado. He kind of woke up a he, little iffy. He slept for almost three hours. Like it's almost like it was too much. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna finish showing. You wanna get him situated yeah, in there? I gotta clean off the tray thing too. We got a mix of white rice and quinoa. Cuban style black beans from Trader Joe's. This peri peri sauce, as well as salsa and a little guac mix. Peter is going to have a burrito and I think I'm going to make myself tacos. Same thing, just different vessel. This is the second fancy Italian drink Sarah got. Look, I've never seen a top like this. Sparkling Mandarin beverage. Dinner is absolute divinity. I love chorizo, but it is so true that like the soy, whatever, concoction it is like whatever spices they use like it tastes spot on and it's so good you want to hold a hand he wants more beans <laughs> i got some corn for you baby what are you guys doing you know clubhouse baby <laughs> where's she going we're chasing evie around Jamesy got in her hideout. Chaos, chaos, chaos everywhere. But we're working on it. We have visitors tomorrow. Yes. This is probably going to be a two-part vlog. Yeah. Because I feel like we're just kind of like... In cleaning mode? Yeah. My hands are pruning and sore. Ooh. I folded all that laundry. Thank you. I just got to put it away. And then you're going to handle our dining room, which is still kind of disheveled from when our lo the plumber had to come by and inspect our apartment. Buzz, you're being too loud. You just hear that yawn from Sarah <laughs> off camera. Um, so Sarah and I are, what, season or episode four? Four or five of season four. one of Peaky Blinders. 
which I'm very excited about because I watched it when it came out, but I have not watched any of the additional seasons. Sarah has not seen anything. It's so good. It's so good, yeah. Um, so it's going to be the end of day one of the vlog. Friends are coming over tomorrow. We did a good amount of cleaning. We have to finish it up in the morning. I had like a, do we say I had like a brutal day of work, like just a lot of meetings. It's our first day of like making sure Jamesy's teeth are taken care of real good. Yeah. Oh, good. He enjoys it. He likes it. Okay, he likes like the, the, the brushing the teeth and everything. What he didn't like was me trying to put him down with a bottle of water. Oh. Wow. It's a progress. It's a process. We're making progress on the process. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> So you think you're going to be found and order McDonald's at 12.15 in the morning. And then you get outside and your entire street lets you know that it's snowing outside. What is this? It was 50 degrees at midnight yesterday. Come on. I gotta say, it is pretty cool that if you decide to sporadically go get McDonald's for you and your wife at uh, 12.24 in the morning that this is the locale of the McDonald's that we go to right outside of Wrigley, which also, to all you haters out there who are about to say, why are you doing this? We are not the only ones. We got three other cars right here getting McDonald's at 12.20 in the morning. It's great to stay home. Twins! Good morning, good morning. We didn't even plan it, we didn't even realize it. Thank I had you. a busy day week. Hello. Hello, we're Welcome so happy you're vlog. here. Peter missed out on the opportunity. <laughs> James is thoroughly embarrassed by us right now. <laughs> Peter missed out on the opportunity to intro the vlog last night when he was going to McDonald's in the wee hours of the morning. Um, Did we wake up early? No. No. Did our friends come over and we have a great time? I. I they can... did. I was in. I was meeting for like five All hours today. All day. Yeah. yeah. I feel bad because I feel like I never vlog with Lauren and Lucy. I don't know why. I mean, we're just like busy. Them. That's not true. <laughs> Chatting. Like, we just, the time goes by so fast, and all of a sudden it's like, I guess we should probably. Our babies need a nap. Like, you should probably go. Um, but I'll put in a cute photo here of our babies because they're four weeks apart and they're friends. Like, now they're. Like now they're becoming human. And they can hang out together. Yeah. Anyway, my arm's getting tired from holding the camera. Um, we have to figure out. It's actually like already like. What, Is this six? the most boring long? Well, it's two parts. It's six thirty. I still have to go for a run. We haven't had dinner, but we had chip snack dip and party. dip party. So I almost think I should like run before the dinner. But we gotta figure this out. So I have on this great Spotify playlist that my friend Carolyn made. It's called Disney Calm, and it's just a bunch of like scores from Disney movies, and I put it on all the time. Um, and I just think it's cool that Spotify, obviously, like you can access anybody's playlist. So even if you just say your Amazon device's name and then play Disney Calm, it should play. So that's what I'm listening to. We decided I'm going to cook. James and I are going to eat and then Peter's gonna run just so his run doesn't push back us eating um, but he doesn't wanna eat until after he runs. So I'm making falafel salad bowls and Greek potatoes. May I help you? So our side is Greek potatoes which need to bake for a while Peter's, <laughs> Peter's being an audience member. Um, I have the oven at 450. I put a bunch of potatoes in here. Olive oil, lemon juice. Nutmeg. No, nutmeg. <laughs> Salt, pepper, a bunch of garlic. Usually I'd use minced garlic, but we don't have any. Roast beef, chicken, pizza. <laughs> and then a ton of oregano. I did half a lemon because I like to put the other half of the lemon of the lemon juice on after it's done baking and I'll probably have to bake for like a half hour. But I just really like the lemony taste so I like to bake it with with some juice but then top it with more and mix it all up and then I even top it with more oregano. That's like 
the key ingredient. Okay, so the base for the salad is gonna be these veggies. There is one romaine heart, a handful of spinach that I chopped up, some shredded carrots, and two tomatoes. And just to start this off with some good flavor on its own, I'm gonna put red wine vinegar, and then a bit of salt. You can also like make this dressing like separately and then just like have it in a container. Um, I just always mix it right on because then I can kind of like taste it and see what I think. So then pepper, garlic, and oregano. Where are you? There you go. And I always like to put the vinegar. Sometimes like in a normal salad, I'll do oil too, but I think we'll have other bits of oil. And this is just kind of like, you can you can have these veggies plain. I'm just giving them a little extra oomph because I'm not a huge veggie person. Um, but yeah, you always wanna put something on the veggies first before the seasoning so that it hangs on to it nice. So I'll mix it up, see if it, if it needs any change in. I just ended up adding a little bit of vinegar um, to the greens. But the hot portion of the meal is going to be the rice quinoa concoction that I made yesterday. Um, I made a ton of it, so that'll be another like base. And then falafel. So again, eat part easy, part homemade. I'm gonna just throw those things in the microwave once we're ready to eat. I'm gonna check the potatoes once I sort of finish up. And then for our other toppings, we have this cucumber salad. It just has the vegan dill salad dressing on it. I might add a little bit of sugar on top. I know that's how my mom made her cucumber salad and I loved it. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. Just avocado with lime juice and some salt, some banana peppers, the tomb Lebanese garlic dip. We'll just kind of be like on the side for dipping. Or, I don't know, I might mix it all in. It's really good. And then some pita chips. And then, of course, the falafel. Just a big kid a walking on his toy saying, do I did it, did it, did it, do. Will you love this? Dance it, dance it, dance it out. Tap it. Tap that foot out. Here is my bowl. My plate of potatoes. And here's Jamesy's. How is it? Delicious. Okay, and for dessert? Single M&M. Yeah. <laughs> this is the excitement level we get for bath time. The snow is pretty. The walk home is always nicer than the walk to the gym because I'm all hot from the workout. Um, ran a good six miles, had a really good pace for how I feel. Um, a couple, couple, took a couple walking breaks, but I think I'm almost at that spot with the more consistent running and working out with Orange Theory and, and the, the treadmill, where I might see some of my old speed, some is the stressed word there coming back. Um, I think the Orange Theory is a very anaerobic, my friend Steve from Tampa would tell me how it's an anaerobic, anaerobic workout and long distance running is an ana is an aerobic based event. You want to build your aerobic base, but I feel that Orange Theory is helping me work on my heart rate and keeping that more under control, cool, slowing it down, calming down, um, more quickly, more controlled and that helps keep the miles going at a good speed. And I also think that the, that the weight and the floor, the weights and the floor workouts at Orange Series is helping keep my, my running form longer, um, which will help keep your speed during a long distance run because the second your form goes on a long run, your speed just starts dropping too and you don't feel good and you might hurt yourself. Um, so overall, I feel like I'm getting some of the old jive back, 
a lot more work ahead of me and I have to surpass what I used to be for Squamish 50-50 this fall. Um, but I'm getting more and more excited about it. And we're gonna have to do some fun Midwest trail running adventures once it gets warm out. So that'll be exciting too. I'm home, freshened up. Um, I hear people outside our apartment, so that's always fun. Um, we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow is Thursday. It's gonna be a good day. I actually have Orange Theory tomorrow morning, um, but it's late. I got wrapped up watching all this news about Ukraine and Russia, which is just um, very unfortunate. Um, so, but I'm gonna try to go to bed. It's 11. Gotta get up early, early if I'm gonna go to Orange Theory class. And it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>